This video is sponsored by Zyro. If you're thinking about selling art commissions, stop. I'm gonna save you a whole lot of time and money. What's up guys, Lucas here, I'm a concept artist and illustrator. Let me tell you a story. I was 19 at the time, around 2012, I had spent the whole week worrying about this drawing and wishing that I had said no. The damn thing had taken me the whole afternoon and also the night, drawing and hating every single moment of it. It was around 2am, I was super tired and this was the second time I was making the same drawing. A portrait of a friend of mine and her boyfriend. The next day it was going to be their anniversary and she had commissioned me to draw a photo of them both. I needed to deliver it in just a few hours. Finally, it was done. I did the last bit of the inking and I looked at the final result and I realized it was nothing special, but hey, at least it was finished, right? Next morning, the alarm sounds at 5.30 a.m. I wake up wishing I had like 10 more hours of sleep. First thing I do is go check out the drawing. Horrible. Her nose was so out of proportion that she looked like a bad caricature of a clown. I felt like this chill in my stomach, I, I didn't have time to make another one, so I just grabbed it, I put it inside of one of my notebooks and I just got ready, all the time thinking she is going to hate it. A couple of hours later we meet, I take the drawing out, she looks at it and I can see the disappointment in her face immediately. She says, my nose is a bit too big, no? She tells me and I laugh awkwardly and tell her that I didn't notice. She puts the drawing in her bag and gives me 8,000 colones. That was what I charged her for the drawings. It was somewhere around $10 at the time. This was one of my first commissions and I hated it. Since then I have done many other commissions, not all of them have been this terrible, but I have suffered through enough of them that I know that they are just not for me. I am here to help you figure out if they are for you. And if at the end of this video you tell me, Lucas, yes, I still think that commissions are a good idea, then by all means, go for it. At the first glance, doing commissions might sound like the best way for artists to start making some money while doing what they love. But truth is, and you know this if you have done them yourself, more often than not, commissions are just a pain in the ass. First, if you don't have a big following, you might find that just announcing on social media that you're open for commissions feels like screaming to the void. Nobody cares. Second, the pay can be so bad. This of course depends on what on the prices that you choose, but you can find a lot of artists doing commissions for like 50, 20 or even 10 dollars. That is definitely not enough to make a living out of it. First question is, why commissions? Why the hell commissions? Yeah, I understand that making a living as an artist is a very attractive idea and let me tell you, it is absolutely possible. I have been a full-time artist for the past 6 or 7 years and it has been just getting better every year. There are many, many ways of making a living as an artist, so it is very important that you decide if commissions are the right way for you. If you want to hear my top ways to start making money as an artist, you can check this video out. But my personal favorite and the one that is paying for my life basically right now is digital products. Specifically, I sell my brushes on my website. This alone, selling my brushes, helps to sustain me way more than commissions ever did. And the best part is that it is passive, I don't have to do anything to sell them. Even if you don't want to sell any products, you must know that having a website is a must for any artist online. You want to have a hub to place and host all your best pieces in it. That's where Zyro comes in. They are the sponsors of today's video. Zyro is a website builder that lets anyone create websites with zero knowledge of coding or web design. They make it ridiculously easy to make a website with their AI builder. You just go in there, answer a couple of questions, choose a color palette and a font style, Tell it if you want your website to have, let's say, a gallery, a slideshow, contact form, or even your Instagram feed for artists, and it just makes everything for you. It is so easy, and the results are so beautiful that I don't know how web designers still have a job, honestly. After that, you can, of course, go and edit anything that you want by hand. All in all, it took me around 10 minutes to make a full website with a contact form, the Instagram feed, the gallery, and everything in there. Zyro is normally super affordable, but now more than ever you can grab a great deal for a limited time only, so you can go and click the link below or use my code LUCAS to get an exclusive discount plus 3 months free and a free domain for a year with any yearly plan. 
Thank you very much, Zyro, for sponsoring this video. Okay, so let's get back to the commissions. Doing commissions is not an easy job. It takes a lot of time and effort to find clients, talk with them, make sure that you are a good fit, discuss the prices, get a briefing for the tasks, go back and forth with revisions, and a ton of other things. And that you have to find another client right away so that you can start the whole thing from scratch again. On the other hand, if you find the right clients, ones that pay good, don't give you a lot of problems and they keep just coming back to you, doing commissions might actually not be that bad. But you gotta understand, and that is the important thing, that there is a lot more work around doing commissions besides the drawing itself. You basically become a business owner, okay? Another factor to take in consideration is that a lot of times you might find yourself doing commissions that don't have absolutely anything to do with what you like to draw. At least that is what happened to me. True, if you have a very defined style and a very specific subject matter, something that people know you for, then people may hire you for that. But if you have the same luck that I had when I was starting out, you will receive infinite offers to draw cats, dogs and girlfriends portraits. Alright, so let's go to the second question and that is is art commissions the best way for you to improve as an artist? When you're doing work for a client, you don't have the freedom to experiment and make mistakes. That can severely limit the growth that you can experience in those pieces that you do for the clients. There is a reason why artists always say that their best work is their personal one. Doing commissions might leave you exhausted, that is what happened to me, and I don't know if it will happen to you, but I can tell you that as soon as my art crossed a certain threshold, I started getting offers to do some commissions, and as I told you, it was just portraits, caricatures, sometimes random tattoos, things that didn't have anything to do with the things that I wanted to draw and paint. But because I was a broke ass student and I just needed the money, I did them. And every single time I would be suffering through one, I was telling myself, come on Lucas, like, this is it, this is the goal, right? But I was so far from it. To be honest, if I would have been in the position where I really needed the money to survive, which unfortunately didn't happen to me, I would have preferred to get a part-time job unrelated to work and then with that constant and regular paycheck, I would have just done drawing in my free time so that I keep loving it and I don't exhaust myself with those commissions. And the third question is, what are your long-term plans? Because this is something that artists just don't seem to stop and give it a thought. Have you thought about where do you want your career to go? Do you want to just keep doing commissions in the future? If so, if you're an artist that says like, yeah, for the next five, seven years, I want to be making commissions, then odds are that you might want to stop calling them commissions and switch to freelance, okay? It's basically the same thing, but instead of individuals, random people that you find in Fiverr or something, you make the work for companies and these companies will have way better budgets than individuals have. That means that they will be able to pay you enough that you don't have to just sacrifice yourself doing 20 drawings for cheap for $20 in order to survive, okay? If on the other side, you are not planning on doing commissions for the long term, if this is not your life goal, then my question to you is, why not heading into the direction that you want already? If you want to, let's say, work in a studio as a concept artist, or if you want to become an illustrator for book covers or whatever, are commissions really the best use of your time and effort right now? Wouldn't it be better if you just approach the companies already, the, the ones that you already want to work for? Or if you're not right there with the level of your art, so you cannot apply to those companies yet, maybe the better use of your time is for you to continue practicing and improving in order to eventually reach those companies. Okay, that is enough hate for commissions, I think. If you are still here, then you can definitely tell that I hate commissions, right? <laughs> But I want to take a moment to tell you that there are a lot of artists out there that are happily living off commissions and they don't seem to have a problem with them. Maybe it's just a personal thing. Commissions are not bad by themselves. And if you want to give them a try after hearing all of this, then props to you. Commissions may be your thing. I just want you to know that there are other options out there that may be better for both making a living as an artist and also keep growing as one. Well. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video till the end. If, again, if you have questions, leave them down there. You can actually check my brushes, the ones that I mentioned in the description and you can support this channel. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.